magical ones. It's JJ. Um, we're doing something very exciting today. It is the 1st of July, 2023. Probably won't be seeing this until many, many months into the future. But I wanted to document our process of planning our wedding. Um, so we have been engaged now since since November last year, like eight months now, which is so crazy. It's gone by so quickly. It's very exciting to finally be starting this first step today, which is inspecting our first um, wedding venue. We are going to check out the beautiful Athol Hall in Mossman in Sydney. It looks from all the photos really picturesque, really cute Red light and, speed and quaint. Camera ahead. Excuse you, Siri. Yeah, we're really hoping it, it lives up to the beautiful photos online and um, all the content we've seen from there um, because this is our number one venue at the moment um, before inspecting number one. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. I will try and get some little snippets of footage when we're there if I'm allowed just to show you what it's like. Exciting day. Darling? It's a little hall where we would have our reception. I love this little pergola. So cute.
Okay, so it's been a few months since um, since I last did a little vlog. Um, a lot has happened. We booked our venue, Athol Hall, which was the only place we inspected. Um, we just absolutely loved it. We went to a wedding fair one fine day um, at Carriage Works and we actually found a couple of possible vendors there. Well, actually, we definitely found one. We booked our florist, um, Chris McKee Florals. I just absolutely loved her vibe. Um, she was really sweet and really helpful. And um, she loved my ideas about having like a wildflower garden vibe. She is also a sustainable florist. Um, so she doesn't use any flower foam. She lets you repurpose flowers from the ceremony for the reception. Um, so yeah, she just really ticked a lot of boxes. So we went ahead and booked her as well. And today is a very exciting day. Kate's actually on her way um, to pick me up, but I still have to finish my hair. Um, it is exactly 365 days until the wedding, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, and I'm having my first appointment at Bell Street Bridal, um, which is in Marrickville. It's two ladies named Ali and Chloe, and um, they just, they make custom bridal dresses. And I am so excited to go and meet them. Um, today's just going to be a bit of a design chat. I might be trying on some some of their like they have a stock of vintage dresses in store um so i might just try some on for like style inspiration um i think kate's nearly here um so i i can't wait to meet them and just show them all my ideas exciting day hang on i just want to show you officially 365 days to the wedding. Yes, very exciting, can't wait. I better hurry and finish my hair. Um, yeah, that's what's happening today. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Cheers to my friend Sam and Gabby for this lovely mug. This is actually a gorgeous afternoon. Still 365 days till the wedding. <laughs> um, today's actually a gorgeous day, but it's a bit chilly. So I'm kind of nervous that it might be chilly on our wedding day. I mean, if it's a nice day, if it's a, like a nice clear day with a little bit of a chill in the wind, I guess that wouldn't be the end of the world. Anyway, I guess that's the risk you take <sighs> when you're choosing the wedding date. Um, anyway, I'm just not going to think about it and put it at the back of my mind um, because I can't control the weather and we have booked it in, we can't do anything about it now, so whatever will be, will be. At least that's the attitude one year out. Um, talk to me when it's one week out <laughs> and we'll see. So I had my appointment this morning at Bell Street Bridal in Marrickville. Um, it was just like an initial design appointment. It was so fun. I actually, I really had fun. The the ladies, um, Ali and Chloe, who own and run the shop, um, 
I just like felt such a connection with them. They're so sweet. We chatted about Harry Potter. We chatted about musicals um, and about wedding dresses, of course. Um, the shop is so beautiful. I totally forgot to film anything in there. Um, but my friend Kate did um, film little bits when we were inside. Um, so the front of the shop is just a vintage dress shop where you can go and hire vintage dresses, which is so cute. And there's so many dresses, just like an explosion of color. And then you walk out the back and it's the bridal room. So they have just like all the walls aligned with vintage bridal dresses, um, which was actually really helpful to be able to see like different necklines and um, different fabric colors and fabric textures. Um, so yeah, that, that was a really cool experience. Um, just like the look and vibe of the shop. I love a vintage vibe, vintage dress styles. So it was all very much up my alley. And I just felt like it was a really like nice, comfortable environment, which is also just down to the girls that were really lovely and welcoming. Um, they really know what they're talking about. They're very knowledgeable. Um, yeah, just like overall an amazing experience. I went prepared with um, like inspiration, like collages that I made um, for like the kind of bodice I want, the kind of skirt and the like kind of embroidery because they actually do custom embroidery, which is like one of the main reasons I wanted to um, to go there. Ali, who owns the shop, is an extremely good embroiderer. That's what got me most excited about working with them. And I'm so happy to say that they loved my ideas. They're excited. I think they feel like it's going to be like a fun project for them, which is so important because I really want them to enjoy the experience as much as me. Um, and I just feel like it's going to make for such a better working relationship if they actually enjoy what they're making. So yeah, and Ali actually did a couple of sketches um, for me while we were just discussing what I am after. I don't know how well this is going to show up. This was the initial sketch and then she created this and I was like, yes absolutely um they just actually had it bang on they know exactly what i want um and yeah i feel like we are working together now towards this single vision for my dress um which sounded so cheesy but it's true i just feel like we're, we're on the same page we all know what the end goal is, what the vibe is, and yeah, I just really enjoyed that experience. And Kate was there, which was really fun. Um, I got kind of like overwhelmed, like when they're like, oh, do you have any questions? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what to ask. <laughs> like, I've never done this. Um, so Kate was really good at just like having a cool head and being like, oh, like, what about this? How many appointments? do you need for example and like when would be the next appointment blah 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 um so yeah I'm just I'm so excited and I initially felt a bit um a bit hesitant about doing a custom bridal gown because I just felt like I wouldn't be getting that bridal shop experience where you go and like try on a dress and then you like find the perfect dress and you say yes but now that I think about it my ideas for what I've always wanted for my wedding dress are not designs that I've seen that you can just buy off the rack um it's, it's different. It's not what every bride would want. And I don't think I would have had that say yes to the dress experience if I went and tried on dresses because I would have felt like nothing was quite right. Um, whereas now I feel like I can actually get the exact dress that I want. And 
it's going to be personalized, it's going to be fit to my body, it's just going to be me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm on a bit of a high now. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in the bridal mode. Um, so yeah, very exciting, getting a bit emotional, <laughs> but um, I just can't wait. I can't wait to marry my darling Seb and I can't wait to just get this show on the road and just have like the party of a lifetime with all our nearest and dearest in the dress of my dreams. So also sometimes I just feel like when everything comes together so perfectly and it's just like meant to be, I just feel like the universe is giving me signs and it, like that sounds so cheesy but I just feel like when things fall into place it's a good sign that you're on the right track so when I met Ali and Chloe at the one fine day fair um I had never seen them before I thought they were lovely and I thought their um custom embroidery was gorgeous I loved the like little vintage aspect of their business and I just thought straight away oh my gosh that would be perfect so obviously I started researching custom bridal gowns from there and custom embroidery went down a rabbit hole and then eventually decided that yes this was definitely a route I wanted to go down and so I was looking up on their website and um they had a little blurb that said like who they are and what they're into and I saw that they were into musicals and I was like ah oh, like that's awesome like we'll be able to have chats about musicals blah 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 and then I went to choir the next week um I'm in a choir called the Australian Musical Theatre Choir um started like a few months ago and now we're in the second term anyway rocked up to choir the next week and Ali was there in the choir and I was like wait is that her I was like that can't be that can't be her that can't be the girl that I've like and I had literally booked my appointment with them that day that my appointment for today I booked like a month ago I was just like okay but I I got kind of scared to like go and say hi to her because like a couple of reasons I didn't want her to feel like I was like pestering her for like dress advice or anything like at when she's just trying to relax and have a good time at choir and then secondly I was like I've like pretty solidly stalked you online <laughs> because I wanted to look up all the dresses they've done before and I found their YouTube channel where they show the custom bridal process and I was like a fan by this point I was like okay these girls are awesome <laughs> And I was like just kind of fangirling and then finally like two weeks ago I was like okay my appointment's in two weeks it's gonna be awkward if I don't say hi <laughs> so I just like went up and like I think I held her up from leaving for choir and I was like oh hi like I'm gonna be coming like to the to have an appointment for a dress <laughs> um, and she was really sweet of course but yeah I'm glad I said hi to her before <laughs> before my appointment that was like sign number one I was like okay crazy like they like what I like and she's like in the same choir as me I was like wow that's like a big coincidence then today I was just telling them that I love Harry Potter and um Ali was like oh yeah well my daughter's name's Hermione come on like <sighs> yeah just like it's just so cool I feel like I've made the right decision and they're local and they're a small business and yeah I'm just I'm really happy about this decision I feel like it's good it's all around good so yeah, that was my first bridal appointment. So the next one I have is booked for the 21st of October, which is in about, I don't know, six weeks or something. Um, so that will be my toile appointment. I think that's how you say it. So it's like they will make up 
like just out of like a calico fabric they'll make a mock-up of the rough dress design so they took my measurements today and then I will go in and try it on and they'll um, try to like fit it to my body and of course this is not final measurements or anything it's just to get the rough shape um, of the dress and then if we need to make any design tweaks on that day we'll work that out then and then the next one after that will be the first fitting of the actual dress um, which is so exciting. I can't wait to actually try on the real dress. Um, but yeah, that's probably going to be like a few months down the track. There'll, there'll be like a few more, obviously, fitting appointments. And all the custom embroidery will be going on later down the track as well. Um, but yes, something that they did say, which I need to remember, is they'll take final measurements like a month out. From the wedding um which is good to know because i am on a bit of a health journey at the moment um not that i am going to do any crazy diets or anything but i am um you know working out pretty regularly and trying to eat well um so main main priority is just being healthy and well as a result of that i may very well drop a dress size or two once it's like a month a month out that's like can't lose any more weight because yeah that would just make things difficult for having to make last minute changes to the dress so yeah it's all happening I can't actually but like it's really just sunk in now that I've had my first dress appointment that it's really happening even though we booked the venue and the florist already, this is the one where it's like, oh, wow. <laughs> it's getting real now um, in the best way. Fun, exciting things coming up. Um, so many little projects to work on. I've been sending my mom some design ideas for the save the dates and the invitations because she's going to be helping me make them. She's got a Cricut machine and she can like emboss and do stuff with like nice quality paper they'll be beautiful lots of fun little projects and creative things which is just perfect because that's like my favorite part about planning a party is all the little creative and personal touches so I'm excited if you can't tell I've probably said that 10 million times <laughs> anyway I'm gonna drink my tea try to calm down <laughs> Put on some jazz music or something. <laughs> All right. Until next time. Bye. It's magic.